Hi everyone, it's Rusty from Numbots here. Are you ready for today's Letters and Sounds Phonics lesson? Hello children, I'm Alex. Let's start our Letters and Sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Let's begin by reading some phonemes that you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. Remember, some of these graphemes make more than one sound. See if you can remember them all. The first card says shh. Your turn, off you go. Let's check. Read them aloud with me. Shh. O and O. A or A or O. G or J. K or S. U. E or U or U. Your. Brilliant, super sounds. Well done. Let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Have a look at this word and remember in this word, this letter says S. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. S -e -n -t -r -a -l. Central. Something that is in the middle is central. Have a look at this one and remember in this word it says s. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. Acid. Acid. Lemons are acid to taste. Can you spot the digraph? That's right, the digraph is here. Woo. And remember, in this word, this letter says O. Oh. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. What? What? Next word. Remember, in this word, this letter says O. Oh. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. W -o -z, was. Next word. And remember, in this word, this letter says J. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. M -a -j -ik. Magic. She performed a magic trick. Wow. Can you see the digraph? If that's right, then in this word it says E. Eh. Read each sound as I point. Now blend and read the word. F. Deaf. If you can't hear, then you are deaf. Great reading. I'm going to mix them up. Can you read them? Off you go. Read them aloud. Read them with me. Central. Acid. What. Was. Magic. Deaf. Today we are learning to read a new way of writing the sound sh. 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 
You have a go. Shh. And again. Shh. And again. Shh. One more time. Shh. Let's sound talk some words with the phoneme shh. Copy me. Say the sounds and then see if you can blend the sounds to say the word. Shh. Eh. F. Your go. Shh. Eh. F. Chef. A chef is someone who is a professional cook. They wear a hat. Like this. Let's try another one. Sh a l a. Your go. Sh a l a. Chalet. A chalet is a wooden house that is used for holidays. It looks like this. Final word. B r o sh your. Your go. B r o sh your. Brochure. A brochure is a magazine that shows you about things you might like to buy, like a holiday. This is a brochure about holidays. We know the sound sh is written like this. There is another way to write the sound sh and it looks like this. All these words were originally from French, which is why they have this spelling. Let's read the new grapheme for the sound sh. Can you say the sound sh each time I show you the digraph ch? Are you ready? And one more. That was excellent. Well done. Now let's read some words with our new grapheme for the sound sh. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word. And together, sh, f, chef. Do you remember? This is the hat that the chef wears. Let's try another word. In this word, these two letters make the A sound. Off you go, sound talk it, and then blend it. And together, sh, a, l, a, chalet. Did you get it right? Let's have a look at our chalet. Here it is. Next one. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word. But remember, in this word, this letter says O. Let's read the word together. B, r, o, sh, your. Brochure. Do you remember what it looks like? That's right, this is our holiday brochure. Sound talk each grapheme and then blend to read the word aloud. You ready to read it together? P, a, r, a. Para. Sh, oot, shoot. Parachute. If you wanted to jump out of an aeroplane, you would use a parachute. It looks like this. Now can you read these words without any help? Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Chef. Chalet. Brochure. Parachute. Time to mix them up. See if you can read them now. Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Parachutes. Chalet. 
chef, brochure, credible. We are on fire today, children. Now, let's practice reading these tricky words that you have met before. Let's have a look at the first one. Let's have a look at this one. Can you remember the tricky bits in this word? Yes, the tricky bit is here. This bit says eh. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Friend. Friend. The word is friend. Well done. Let's practice reading another tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bits? That's right. The tricky bits are here. This bit says ah or a. Ah. And this bit says f. This bit at the end says t. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. U, a, f, t. Or u, a, f, t. Laughed or laughed. Let's read some sentences with our new grapheme in them. Can you see the words with our new grapheme ch that says sh? That's right. Here and here. Can you see any other words with digraphs or trigraphs in? Here's a. Here's the trigraph your. And here's ng. Can you see the tricky word we read today? That's right. Friend is our tricky word. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember, sound out any words you're not sure about. Excellent reading. Now let's read it together. My friend has a holiday brochure with chalets and camping. Brilliant reading. Now let's read it together a bit faster. Read with me. My friend has a holiday brochure with chalets and camping. It is fun looking at brochures. Now let's read another sentence. Can you see any words with our new grapheme CH that says sh? That's right. Here and here. Can you see any other words with digraphs? That's right. We've got u, a, or, k, and or again. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words you're not sure of. Excellent reading. Now let's read together. The chef parachutes and performs magic tricks for fun. Brilliant reading. Let's read it again a little bit faster this time. The chef parachutes and performs magic tricks for fun. The chef sounds like a fun person to know. Let's finish by spelling some words, because if you can read a word, then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with. Let's spell two words with our new grapheme CH. Let's spell chef. Segment the sounds with me. Chef. Sh. E. F. Let's count how many sounds there are. Chef. Sh. E. F. That's three sounds. Watch me write chef and remember I need three sounds. Sh. 
E. F. Chef. Have a go. I'm hiding it. Write them down. Are you ready? Did you remember the digraph? Here. Sh-f. Chef. Well done. Did you get it right? Let's try another one. Let's spell brochure. Segment the sounds with me. B -r O sh or let's count how many sounds there are. Brochure b -u o sh your that's five sounds. Watch me write brochure. Remember five sounds. B -r o trigraph your brochure. I'm going to hide it. Have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Don't forget the digraph sh and the trigraphs your. Are you ready? Your brochure. Did you get it right? Well done. Let's spell a tricky word we have met before. Friend. Segment the sounds with me. Friend. F -r -e -n -d. Let's count how many sounds there are. Friend. F -r -e -n -d. That's five sounds. Watch me write friend. Remember, I need. Five sounds. Remember the tricky bit. <sighs> the I and the E say eh in this word. Mm. Friend. I'm going to hide it. Have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Remember the tricky bit. The letters I, E, say, E. Eh. Write them down. You ready? Let's check. R-E-N-D. Friend. Did you get it right? Brilliant. Well done. Now let's practice spelling. Laughed or laughed. You've done this one before as well. Segment the sounds with me. Laughed or laughed. L-A-F-T. Let's count how many sounds there are. Laughed. L -off -t. That's four sounds. Watch me write laughed and remember the tricky bits. L. A or A. Laughed, laughed, or laughed, laughed. Have a go. Say the word. 
say the sounds. Remember the tricky bit. You got it? Are you ready? Does yours look like that? Did you get it all right? Laughed, laughed, or laughed, laughed. Well done. Well done. You worked so hard today practicing reading and spelling. See you next time for another lesson with letters and sounds. Bye. Hi children, I'm Sandy Toxvig. I hope you enjoyed your letters and sounds lesson. You have worked really hard and we are so proud of you. I tell you what, why don't you celebrate by sharing a lovely book together with someone at home? Thank you.